Hey everybody, Ransom here, and welcome back for more Stories Untold. Four stories, one nightmare. Nightmare! I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, in the last episode, we got trapped in some sort of, like, weather station in, in Greenland. And it's actually very cold there, and I was pissed off. So, um, we processed a lot of signals, and it was longer than the other two episodes. But it was still very good, and it was a lot more involved than the other ones, I believe you know in my opinion at least so we're gonna get uh, started here on the last session look around go to and open commands or your friends use them often That's enough of that for now. That was a TV show the whole time. Are you kidding me? You're quite fond of the show, aren't you? There's a TV. Sh there's the cassette tape Come on me. the. Let's get you down to the observation room. On the uh, table right here of the abandoned home or whatever. Ooh, hand sanitizer. Ooh, hand sanitizer. To feel like home to you. Fire alarm! Pull the fire alarm! Don't worry. I'll try and get you out of here eventually. That was the exit. Can I go back? I'm just in here. No, how about how about you don't put me in here? Why is there a camera and a tape player? Okay, are we through in the next room? Just relax, and we'll get started in a moment. Can I can I get up? I don't want to be here. Can I can I leave? All right, Mr. Asian, now are you ready? Just hit record on the tape deck in front of you when you're ready. Can I can I get up? Okay. This is subject 12 19 No. 83. New such 1986. Myself, Dr. Alexander leading and in a room we have our patient. Our volunteer James Mr. James Asian. As we know, James has recently recovered from a 2 week coma. I was in a coma. In our last James's attempts to recollect events of the accident seen him merging his memory with his imagination. These episodes have always ended in panic, and we've had to terminate the session abruptly. Yeah, I bet. I would freak out too. Time, James. So when you're ready, let's bring this back. I know how difficult this must be, but you can do this. James, it's time to remember. Remember what? Oh, good. It can show you your memory. Look into it. Look, yeah, totally. Oh, and the walls are bleeding again. Wonderful. Why are you back? I don't like you. Okay, let's look inside. Oh, we're we're back in the weather station. interacted with you daily, encouraging you to wake. Your family would do number puzzles with you. Anything really to bring you back. They're both offline. Answers, James. Do you remember? I have another signal here for you, James. It's at 5610 FM. You can't miss it.
It's the only line on here now. Does that mean all the other lines on this thing the whole time have been other frequencies that I could have listened to? What is that? Twelve. Eighty six. Twenty three. Nineteen. Twenty three. Zero four. This is twenty F. Twenty F. Code word reference report. Is everything else blank now? Wilson Police Department Road Traffic Accident Report File. Everything else is blank. Report of traffic incident. Number of vehicles to date 23-1986. So it was March 20th, 1986 at 10.05 Pleasant Hill Forest Road. 20F, fatal accident. James Asian injured. License number. Our address, our city. Huh. Arrived on scene to discover two cars that had involved in a near head-on collision. Mr. Asian found lying down outside his vehicle with head injuries. An ambulance was immediately called. His passenger was trapped in the vehicle in critical condition from wounds sustained in the collision. The driver of the blue suit... Sedan. Oh, the thing is in the way. Mr. Hennings was found dead on arrival. It was noticed that there was a... Strong smell of whiskey from the driver and an empty whiskey bottle on the passenger seat. Mr. Asian was questioned on scene. He described an oncoming blue sedan being clearly out of control, which he swerved to avoid. Mr. Asian's passenger was his sister. The driver of the blue sedan is an ex-police officer of 20 years. 20F dash fatal accident. Empty whiskey out of control. They're all circled, so. 20. 20. F. Dash. Fatal. Accident. Right? I don't know. I think there's spaces in between that. We'll, say, we'll have to see. Empty whiskey and out of control. Okay, let's try spaces. Yeah. Find the signal, James. Listen to the voices. Audio archive reporting officer, NS1 officer Williams interview. 7000 FM.
not like me at all. I've worked with Officer Henning for six years and not once have we even talked about alcohol. Drunk driving. He, he was a father. Oh a no, what happened? No way he caused this. It's him. This Haitian guy. He's got something to hide. The door closes behind you, plunging you into darkness. A light flickers on. Can I... Can I go back? Can I go back to my station? Can I go back to the Asian station? This doesn't make sense to you. Oh, I am in the hospital now. Step out into the hospital ward, only it seems abandoned. Your vision is blurry. Can I pull the fire alarm? <laughs> certainly feels like an emergency all of your episodes were recorded to tape this is the fourth sometimes they make you watch your best sessions to see what really happened they are all locked he has quite an imagination Mr. Asian. I guess it's from the shows he's been watching this time he described a, an a and &E visit as a government conspiracy uh, some sort of lab okay it's, uh, it's interesting stuff and it's obviously pure fiction but I guess it's just his way of coping for now we'll see how we progress in future sessions Ooh, what a nice picture uh, okay I'm scared now Driving home, don't have that fifth pint. How about don't have any at all? It's too blurry for me to read this one. Okay. Another nice picture. Ah, that made my heart jump. Can I go? Can I just leave? Okay, yeah. Can I, can I get some of this hand sanitizer that I saw earlier? You wash your hands, but in this place it feels pointless. <laughs> I got an achievement called cleansed for that. Can I can I do it again? I don't I don't want to go in there. Can I not go in there? Oh, there's keys in there. Can I get in there? Keys. I guess I'll go in here in the scary room. <gasps> There's another cassette. We found him lying there sobbing while his sister died in the car next to him. While Hennings died next to him. What the, what the fuck was he thinking? She was still alive when we got to her. If he'd have done something, they could all still be here. Yeah, well, fuck you, dude. Hindsight is twenty twenty. Okay. Okay, so I think the keys unlock that. I don't want to go in there yet. There's the stories untold. Number puzzles. Futuro, the house abandoned. We played that game. Seats for visitors, not that you ever had any. Arc light. Okay, that's cool. Is there another tape somewhere I'm supposed to find? It's very dark in here. There's another cassette tape. You honestly believe that Hennings was drunk at the wheel and not this little shit? If he wakes up, when he wakes up, I want answers. Until then, you handle it. You write it up. I'm out. 
Okay. Which exit do I take? Coma ward or exit? Can I go out this one? Guess not. Guess we're going to the coma ward. Ah, there's nobody behind me. Don't do that shit. Please let me out of this. I don't like it. Stop! There's nobody here. I hate you, game. Okay, we have a 22-year-old male just brought in from a vehicle collision. He was awake and mobile at the scene, but collapsed on arrival to the emergency ward. Oh no! Died in the accident. I'm getting no pulse. Prepare for DPIP. Amp charge full to 10 and give me 100 joules. Do I have to operate on myself? Come on, 100 joules. Charging up full to 10. Come on. Can we get this on the screen, please? Is that me? Clear. This is the no, uh, room the from the second. Let's try higher. Uh, 200 joules. What's in here, though? 200? 200 joules. Keep the charge at 10. Let's go. I'm going. Clear. Okay, we have a reaction of some sort here, a weak signal. Let's keep going. Increase again. 360, charge. This is like stuff from old lines from the ones we already did. That's insane. Come on, 360, hurry. I'm I'm trying. It's not my fault this stupid cheap ass dial doesn't turn any faster. We have a pulse. Rhythm is stable. We need to run an x-ray right away. Where are we with that x-ray? Let's get it going now. Please. I'm I'm trying, shut up. <sighs> Looks like an intracerebral hemorrhage. We need to drain this now to relieve pressure. Prepare for trepanation. What's trepanation? How about we don't do that? How about we don't drill into my head, please? The drill, please. It's on. Mr. Asian, you've made excellent progress. I don't want to watch day. this. You need to stay calm and try to relax. Where we go through these next steps. My head is inside the box. Hmm, great, yummy. Oh, we are back here. Great. Exactly where I wanted to be, in the suicide house.
Is that blood or fire? Not only is tonight New Year's Eve, but tomorrow you leave on a six month trip abroad with friends. Mom, Dad, and your sister Jennifer have decided to throw a party to celebrate it all. Your house is full. You're in the living room, and as usual, you don't recognize a soul. Look. Oh, I guess I turn the caps lock off now. Look around. Room is full of chatty strangers, mostly friends of Mom and Dad. The door is. There is a door to the hall. Go to hall. You push through the crowd and into the hallway. The hallway is as welcoming as ever, only this time the folks have put a great big banner up across the main wall. Half finished drinks are abandoned on almost every horizontal surface. Stairs lead up, although the party is firmly downstairs. Same as ever. Stairs, door to the living room, door to the kitchen. Go to kitchen. See, all the best parties are in the kitchen. The kitchen is full of people and loud. There are drinks and food on the table and the party is in full swing. Dad has cooked a hog roast which sits proudly on the table, although no one is eating it. So that is that what the carcass was when we came here last time? Look at food. Look at hog roast. It looks great. Eat hog roast. Maybe later. Look around. Utility room, writing on the wall. Also, Jen is here signaling you. Read writing. Happy New Year 1986 on another banner. Weird place to hang it. Go to utility room. Just as you're about to head into the side, the utility room, Jen places her head on your shoulder. You hug. You're going to miss each other. You thank her for the party. She asks you if you're enjoying the party. Answer. Yes. She tells you to enjoy it anyway and to loosen up. She asks you to get her a drink. Get drink. You pour Jen a drink and one for yourself too. Take, oh. There's never an awkward silence with Jennifer. She always has a question. She asks you if have everything sorted for your big trip. No. The, <laughs> your family really gone out of their way to make this trip happen for you. It might be what you need to get some perspective and maybe not fuck up so much. She's going to miss you. You're going to miss her. She walks away. Jen has disappeared into the crowd. You're left standing, nodding, and smiling at their approving faces. There's so much to do for this move. Can't mess it up. But first, a drink. Drink. You pour and down another drink. Anything to move the night along. The room is full. There's a utility room. Go to utility room. You open the door and peer in. You're never allowed in here normally. This is where Dad keeps his fine wines and whiskeys. Ceiling to floor racks. A collector, although he does actually drink them too. There's a bottle with a ribbon around it and a card. Read card. Pick up the whiskey in the card. It's your dad's handwriting. Son, we're so proud of you and everything you've achieved. You've earned this. It's a bottle of 25-year-old double malt. You shouldn't really, but you have to try it. With your whiskey in hand, you, you take in the room around you. There must be hundreds, no thousands of pounds worth of drink in here. <laughs> you really must thank your dad for the whiskey. Go to kitchen. You stumble out of the utility room and back into the kitchen. This is one strong whiskey. You take another swig and give the thumbs up to dad across the room. He nods and winks. Talk to Dad. Tells you he is proud of you and to go easy tonight. Early flight tomorrow. Busy and noisy. We'll need to find somewhere quieter. Go to hallway. A few bumps and laughs on the way through and you make it to the hall. You stop dead in your tracks. It's Jen, covered in blood. Go to living room. 
She's staring straight at you. No one else notices. Go to living room. Blood is dripping down her face. It's mixing with tears. Go to living room, please. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Me either. I'm sorry, I don't understand. I know, I just said I don't either. Now please stop making text appear on my screen. I please stop plaz. No, 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 all the no, all the no, please get this away from me. Did my sister die in a car crash? Did I did I kill her? I'm afraid Jennifer passed away before we could get to her in surgery. We did the best we could, I'm so sorry. Where is she? Let me see her. Please, Miss Cization, take a seat. I don't want to take a seat. Let me talk to her. Now. I'll arrange for you to see her. In the meantime, James is in recovery. He's stable for now. I don't want to see him. Oh, that's that's good. You were standing in the hallway. Something had stopped you in your tracks. While searching your mind, your sister interrupts. She waves her hand in front of you and asks if you can drive her home. You still feel out of sorts. The, those words ex No. No, don't drive her home. Look around. Talk to Jennifer. Go get your keys. Look for keys. Go to living room. Living room has much more relaxed atmosphere compared to the kitchen. Various guests sat in the chairs having civilized conversation. There's a coffee table in the middle of the room. Your mom is pouring a drink at the drinks cabinet. Talk to mom. Talk to mum. Tears immediately start to appear in her eyes. My son, off to America, gives you a hug. Talk to mum. Look. Look around. Look at coffee table. Can't find keys. Go to hallway. Go to kitchen. Way too many people crammed in here, but I guess this is where the food and drink are at. Guests are like a Set of vultures picking at the roast on the kitchen counter. Your dad is locking up the utility room. Talk to dad. Look around. Check table. Look at table. No keys. Go to hallway. Jen points to the living room and sighs as she takes her talk to Jen. Go to living room. Come on. Get coat. Look. Look around. Get coat. Go.
go to a hallway. No. Leave house. Is really cold. <laughs> Go to yard. Look at stars. Gaze up at the night sky. For some reason, you don't recognize any of the star patterns tonight. Probably because you're fucking hammered. Talk to Jen. She has fond memories here too. Won't be the same without you here. Go to car. Leave yard. Wait, I didn't look around in the yard. Go to. Yard. Yeah, shut up. I want to make sure I find everything. Look around. Use generator. Oh, come on. You don't let me have no fun. Fine, leave yard. You. Get in car. Look around. Use key. Read note. Note was from your dad and reads, Hi son, hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator round back to get the power and lights on. Also found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Good enjoy. How about we don't do this? Turn on heat. <laughs> Start car. Use key. Look around. Talk to Jen. Start. Okay, hold on. Move. <laughs> Start car. Put, put car in drive. Talk to Jim. Put car in gear. Use gear shift. Drive car. Release brake. 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 Drive. Oh, that's... No, please don't do that. You, I am driving very drunk on the road towards the town where your sister stays. 
Jen started dozing off as soon as the journey got going. This shouldn't take long. You come to a junction and is it left or right? You can't remember. Turn left. Look around. Go right. Talk to Jennifer. She grunts and throws her arm to the left. It's left, of course it's left. Go right. Confident that you're on the right road now, you loosen up and put your foot down on the accelerator. You feel powerful as the engine roars at your command. Jen sits up in her chair and clutches your arm. She asks you to slow down. Slow down. That's really not what happened though, is it? Jen is hitting your arm and yelling at you, crazy sister. Strange, there is a set of headlights coming directly at you, but really slow, like slow motion. And also, that was the lady that was in the weather station with us. So is that our sister? That's, that's, no, I don't like this. Swerve. <laughs> you try to react, but your body isn't responding. There's nothing you can do to stop this. There's no way to control it. The lights are merged with your car. The outside joins the inside. The whole world around you begins to scream. That is so cool! It was at this very moment, wasn't it, James? What when moment? You lost it all. Your sister. Your parents. Yourself. And then you made it worse. Go on. Show us what you did. You wake up in the car. Your world is upside down. Your seatbelt struggles against gravity, trying to hold you in your seat. An impact into another car has turned a hole into the chassis. Poisonous fumes spill in your car from the engines. You are in grave danger. You have to get out of here. Can I look inside you? Are you the headlight from the car? Is that what you've been this whole time? Remove seat plate. Look around. Car is broken beyond repair. The windows are smashed and there's wreckage all around. You're but you are wearing you're both wearing your seatbelts. So this is the crashed ship from the and there's the alien. Remove seatbelt. Release yourself from the seat. Gravity takes over as you slump to the roof of the car. The ground. Remove Jennifer seat belt. Remove seat belt from Jennifer. Fine. Exit car. Squeeze through the wreckage and fall to your knees on the ground next to your vehicle. Every breath brings pain to your chest. Your head is throbbing. A blue car has smashed into the passenger side of your car. Your life cannot be ruined by this. You are standing holding your whiskey and your dad's note and flashing lights are approaching in the distance. Look around. The sky above I couldn't read it a crash site smoke billows from the crash cars to the sky above exterior lights flicking on and off oh, I already did that take take whiskey come on James if you drink this now you're going to get what's coming to you Go to blue car. The door is jammed. You didn't have time messing around. You don't have time for messing around like this. Bro, whiskey. T 
to other car. Put whiskey in other car. With the lights approaching closer, you begin to hear the sh shrill of their sirens. You simply cannot go to jail for this. You clean the bottle to remove your connection with the whiskey. You then very deliberately spill the remainder of the bottle's contents onto the driver and toss the incriminating evidence into his passenger seat. A circle of flashing lights surround you, illuminating the crash site in the darkness. Behind them, an army of people all staring. One figure steps out, a silhouette, and walks towards you. Uh, that's a exact text from when we were the alien crash. Talk to... I need to put my keyboard in the right place. To silhouette. Try to talk, but you are not making any sense. Look. Look around. Red and blue flashing lights are causing the pain in your head all the more severe. Cry. Make no sense. Walk away. Get. Get up. Walk to figure. Oh, that was bright. Get up. Talk. Cry. I don't know what to do. Close eyes. Kneel. Get on knees. Go to car. Leave. Go to sil. TT. Really? As you approach the man, the pulsing. I know you're tearing yourself apart over it. I just wanted to read that. Locked, locked. Say it, James. Let me leave, please. I don't like this. Say it. Tell them. Listen to yourself. Can you stop, please? I don't like this. It has to end, James. No, I want to open those doors. Do I'm not going in there. Understand. Won't even let me click on that door. This episode you're having must come to an end. Make it stop, make it stop. Do you remember? Dr. Alexander is always watching remotely. I don't know if anyone else is ever with him. Okay, so I turned that off. Now what? Well, I think we've made progress today, Mr. Hishin. I guess we should tell the police what you've told us. Although I don't suspect it'll take you anywhere. But I think you'll be with us for quite some time. 
Come on. Let's get you back to your shows. I'll see you tomorrow. So confused. Well, then, I so we got into a drunk driving accident and we killed our sister and a police officer and we framed them. Uh, the police officer we let our sister die and we felt guilty over it and we went into a coma after uh, the crash for two weeks I'm so this is so meta So that was a cool ass game. It was like all connected and uh, obviously it would be. 1986 was when the car crash happened on New Year's apparently. And our names is James Asian. Is it over? Did I miss any achievements? I missed one achievement. Whatever. I'm not going back for it. So, that was... Oh, this changed. Centravid. Sessions 1 through 4. James Asian. Dr. Alexander. That's crazy. Wow. So that was uh, Stories Untold. Uh, uh, that was a great game. It was, it was on sale. It was like three dollars, I think. I think it's like ten dollars normally. So check it out. See if it's still on sale. If you want to play it for yourself. Uh, thanks for coming and watching. I absolutely love uh, text-based adventure games and point-and-click adventure games. So this was a lot of fun for me. So, uh, and this one was horror themed. So that was even better. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for more content on my channel. Thank you Hey everybody ransom here, and I hope you enjoyed this video if you did like what you saw Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss on what I come up with next Also give this video a share as I'm trying to grow the channel and every little bit helps and I will see you in the next video